The Primus presents Egypt's new Mansoura city. Egypt is on a road to become the seventh richest country by 2030, with an annual GDP of around 8.2 trillion US dollars. The new Mansoura city is located along the Mediterranean Sea coast, extending from Gamosa city all the way to the borders of Kafra el Sheikh. This puts it 54 kilometers away from the old Mansoura city. The new city will be connected with the old Mansoura city through an electrified railway system, making the commute less than 15 minutes. The city will cover 25 point square kilometers and with the ability to house around 1.5 million people. This city will cost the Egyptian government around $3.7 billion. The construction of this city is bound to complete in seven phases. And after the first phase, this city will be able to accommodate 250,000 people. As in the first phase of the city, 40% of the total are 25,000 residential units are bound to be completed. These residential units will be split into four main neighborhoods with utility and commercial sectors in between. Since this is a new city, it is designed to conform with modern architecture, featuring high rising buildings, modern design and colors, in addition to high standard road and infrastructure network. Closest to the sea will be tourist village and behind them will be villas. After villas, moving further away from the sea, there will be apartment buildings and public housing sectors. Apartment prices in the new Mansour city range between 350,000 EGP to 450,000 EGP, in average, but could get up to 1 million EGP, depending on location and unit size. Residential unit prices in new Mansour city towers start at 24,000 EGP per meter, averaging 2.4 million EGP for apartments and 5 million EGP for villas. A new university along with a public elementary school is also under construction. The commercial spaces will include stores and restaurants. The city will also boast a lot of parks and green belts. New Mansour City will be an integrated destination including everything a city needs to satisfy and fulfill their desires of residents and homeowners. On the coast, there is also going to be a 56 meter wide promenade. A brand new destination plan is also being built, seven kilometers to the west of the first phase courtesy of which the city's fresh water needs will be taken care of. The other phases will extend both eastwards and westwards, and a two kilometer long marina will be constructed on reclaimed land. And apart from this longer one, there will be three other smaller marinas. The city will also have the capacity to house 1,000 yachts. Right behind the city, there will be an industrial corridor that will supply all construction materials, guaranteeing the functioning of the new factories being built there. This new city will not only house Egyptian citizens, rather, it will be purpose-built for medical tourism. Medical tourism refers to people traveling abroad to obtain medical treatment. In the past, this usually referred to those who traveled from less developed countries to major medical centers in highly developed countries for treatment, unavailable at home. This city will attract patients from all across Europe and North America. The construction of this city started in 2017, and a lot of progress is already being made. Billions of EGPs have been invested into the city by the new Urban Communities Authority, which is a government body for managing this project. Satellite footages from 2019 revealed the under construction first phase of the city. The desalination point, transformer station, schools, and marketplace are evident, all under construction. Fast forward to 2021, after two years, a lot more progress is made. An update video from June 30th, 2020 shows that four neighborhoods, many of the villas and apartment buildings now look nearly complete. The video also shows immense progress in the construction of the desalination plant transformer station, public school, marketplace, and the university. The footage also revealed the coastal promenade stretching over two kilometers on the city's edge. Investments in the city will be subject to an initial public offering, IPO. Residential units will be sold directly to citizens, as no unit will be allocated to certain institutions, authorities, or personnel. The Ministry of Petroleum is also exploring oil in an area of 2,000 square meters within the city's borders. Upon its completion, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi will inaugurate the new city. Currently, the work is still going on while ensuring strict COVID-19 prevention measures. The construction of this amazing city will continue for a couple of years, and only then will we be able to tell if the city will be actually able to fulfill the purposes for which it is being built. A major reason for building new cities is congestion, as most of the cities in Egypt now have more occupants than they can potentially occupy. Cairo, for comparison, has a population of nearly 20 million people, and the population of Greater Cairo is expected to double in the next few decades. Egypt is moving towards sustainability, and the city of Mansour is one of the pearls among many in their entire project. So, would you like to visit the new Mansour city after the construction process is done and dusted? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video, do leave us with a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. We will catch you in the next one. Until then, 
Peace.